Hey, Maxie. Hey, Maxie. So, this is my dog. He's not really responsive. He haven't ate for a while. He's going to need some IV. Um, it's, uh, as you can see, his, uh, uh, his left paw. Um, well, the right paw, the way you're probably looking at it, um, is swollen. Um, come on, Max. This is going to be very expensive. Um, I've been trying to give him some Benadryl from rashes. Now, I've been actually going to a vet uh, for a very long time. And um, unfortunately, um, vets has failed uh, me and my family for a long time. It's almost like um, they wanted to make money off of us. And we took him into many other vets. We didn't just take him to one. Yes, we tried. Uh, you know, trials and tribulations and all that. We spent lots of money. Now, you know, uh, you know, uh, last time he got sick, I had to take it on my own and do a whole bunch of research. And how could somebody not be a veterinarian and cure his dog. So this was like maybe about three months ago uh, that I cured my own dog. And Betch has been doing it for uh, quite a while and wasn't able to give me nothing to cure my dog. Now I'm in a bad situation. I don't know what to do. So this is actually my first time pleading help because me and my family is just really in a bad situation where we, we just can't, you know, really be able to do this. Listen, um, I don't even know what to say because uh, this is not me, you know? Um, I'm usually <laughs> helping people to fundraise other people. You know, I help other people to fund, uh, you know, raise money, you know? I tell them I might be in a bad situation, but, you know, I'm really good as far as making videos and, you know, um, you know, this is what I do in social media. I make videos and stuff like that, and I could promote you. I could take my skills and help you, but, you know, 99% of the world is, you know, living in a bad situation. So, you know, uh, you know, it's only 1% of this world that's rich. So, if you're able to, it doesn't matter. If, if, if I could get a dollar right. from a uh, thousand people, you could help Max. This is very hard for us because I had him since he was a puppy. And any Muslim, right, if you used to dare even say that my dog is haram, I came to Islam with a dog. So you can unfriend me or whatever, all right, block me. Because if you say anything about my dog, I'm going to listen. But anyway, you know, I'm not talking to uh, like everybody. I'm just saying that there's some disrespectful Muslims, you know what it I mean? Just, uh, you know, straight haram, 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 you know, but, you know, I came to Islam with uh, a dog, right. but, you know, uh, it, you know, it, it, this is permissible, all right, you know, I, I, I came about three and a half years ago, but anyway, guys, you know, like I um, said, I don't even usually do this, I usually help other people, you know, now I'm in a situation where um, I need your help. Um, I don't even know if I even want to produce this video to tell you the truth because I'm not a, a egotistic. I just don't like to, you know, put myself and tell people, you know, uh, I, I'm in this type of situation. I don't think it's really <laughs> nobody's business. You know what I mean? I mean, who likes to promote their self that uh, they can't afford their dog to be? Uh, put in hospital that needs IV, uh, that he's septic, he's not, uh, you know, 
uh, you know, this is, you know, this is a very hard thing. But, anyway. Uh, so, you know, I hope, you know, you know, you don't have to help. This video is not, you know, you know, of course not, you know, this is, you know, a message if you can help. I don't care if it's a quarter. Imagine a thousand people that provided a quarter. He's not responsive. Um, come on, Max. Come on, come on. He's usually not like this. Like, it, this actually just hope it happened momentarily. Uh, like when I came here today, he was all over me, and, and all of a sudden he's like this. Now let me mind you, I I, I just took him a bath not too long ago, and um he uh he smells, you know yeah I, usually he doesn't smell I uh, you know that quick, but um his paw is like really big. So um. I call this a uh, 24 hour vet here in Pennsylvania. I'm like, uh, uh, I'm missing, I'm uh, like missing. So like, um, I called uh, SPCA and they said Saturday, um, but I still gotta have uh, money and stuff like that. Uh, but they uh, they sent me to this other place. It's supposed to be a 24 hour place. And then um, they told me that I have to pay. Um, I'm like, uh, like uh, you know, I mean, this is kind of unfair. I mean, like, in these type of situations, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's fair. I don't know. Uh, you know, people don't do things for free. I understand that. You know, but, I mean, there's people that it's just a tough situation. What, what, what you're just going to let the dog die? I mean, come on. I, you're, it, you guys are in business to take care of dogs, you know, because you care about dogs, right? But, anyway, uh, uh, I guess it's business, you know. I, uh, you know, I like I understand people don't do things for free, whatever. Uh, but anyway, they told me uh, care credit, right? So I applied. Um, I, I I basically got a 600 a, a 600, you know, a credit score or whatever. I got about three credit cards, you know. Um, uh, and I got a car loan. Um, and I can't get a loan for a measly five hundred dollars. Makes no sense, you know. It makes no sense, you know. I I I got a car loan for um. Uh, I I I am like paying on. Uh, so far it was like fourteen thousand. I think I got about twelve thousand left on it, whatever. But you know, uh, you know, uh, yes, I I got you know, uh, I got money. Yeah, yeah, but any normal person knows that sometimes it's just so hard to fit things in we could just only pay what we can pay uh, not these like situations where you gotta put your dog in IV and all kinds of stuff and stuff like that that just it just doesn't fit doesn't, you know like and I'm trying my best you know what else can you do so oh, this is uh, care credit. Um, they had, you know, refused me. So you know, my only option is to get help from anybody that can. When a person dies, all their deeds end, except three: a continuing charity, beneficial knowledge, and a child who prays for them. Therefore, Muslims are eager to give charity, which will continue to have benefit to people after their death and continue to earn them rewards. Please donate.